Edutainment Game Week continues here on Fami Daily. Now we're moving up to Kason Game Sansu Ninen, or Second Grade Math. Now before I get any comments about how slow I am to answer a few of these, I do want to point out that I was doing this in my head at 6 a.m. My plan is to never break out a calculator with any of these. We'll see how I do. I'm trying to hold back one fact about this game series for each of these videos since they will be so short. This time, I'd like to mention that these are actually kind of difficult games to get your hands on. Not because they're rare or expensive, but because there's so little demand for them that nobody bothers listing them for sale. So let's start digging into this one. Once again, we have a set of four mini games, each with two levels, though the level determines how difficult it is to play the game rather than how difficult the math is. The mini games this time are much less action orientated. I actually prefer Sansu Ichinen to this. The first mini game is this dungeon crawler. You have to navigate the maze and locate a treasure chest, then make your way to the exit. Sometimes you'll have a random encounter with a monster who demands that you solve its subtraction problem. The mazes grow larger as you complete them as well. You don't have health points in this one, just a timer bar, and you lose more of that timer bar if you miss a math problem. Maybe the most interesting thing about this is that the maze is randomly generated, which I guess technically makes this a roguelite. As before, there are no endings to any of these games, you just play forever. And getting a game over just restarts the minigame that you're in. It doesn't go back to the main menu. Minigame 2 is the main event. It's everybody's favorite, golf. You choose the strength of your swing, and then have to calculate how far your ball is from the hole. You can overshoot and go out of bounds on this one. Though I didn't see much effect when I landed in a bunker. Once you're on the green, the penguin automatically puts it in. I guess he has a really good short game. Game 3 is a little bit confusing in the setup. You have to specify which numbers will be used in the math problems. Then, as you get to the robot factory, only the numbers that you specified will show up as the first number in the multiplication problem. The mini game has you working a shift at the robot factory, and as you solve problems, you pull the robot part off the line and install it. You have a time limit for your whole day, and there's a time limit as the part can go off the end of the conveyor belt. The final game has you filling in a multiplication table as moles pop out of it. Solve the spot where the mole pops out of, and you fill it in. Again, you have a time limit that counts down as you do this. If you fill in all the white spots, then you get a little cutscene with the moles getting whacked. So Keisan Sansu Ninen is a worse package all around. I mean, one of the mini games is straight up the multiplication table. None of these Keisan games are going to wind up being good, but this one is especially not good.